kind of a shit mood right now. I, I don't want to get into why. It's, it's kind of too personal. I mean, partly I'm just hungry. Because, <laughs> like, you know, I, I haven't had dinner yet. I, I, I'm waiting for my ramen to steep. I'm just going to let that kind of chill for, for the duration of this episode. And then eat it afterward. And then, because I, I have... Uh, we're we're playing D and D. It's six and it's five thirty now, so I might as well just get the video out now. I could have tried to eat and then waited until like five forty five, but it this feels better. I don't know. My mood's probably not going to improve in fifteen minutes. I don't know. Maybe this vi doing this video will help make things better. It hasn't so far, <laughs> but it might. <sighs> um. And I don't know, no, I don't know. I, I to some degree, I, I use this platform to vent, but like, <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I sh I shouldn't, I shouldn't get into this. It's it's it it involves too many other people, and it's like, I don't know, man. And and obviously, this is too too public a platform to vent, of course. Um, I'll, maybe I'll talk to some friends, find a goddamn psychiatrist. <laughs> I looked on, I tried to look on BetterHelp. That shit's fucking expensive, y'all. That shit's way too expensive. I, I'm pretty sure, like, I could get through my insurance or something. All right, maybe, I mean, maybe I can get BetterHelp through my insurance, but I've, I've, I've also heard some bad things about, about BetterHelp, so... Nah, um, I don't know. It seemed like a good idea, but I don't know. There's like a guy that I could maybe. Oh, there's like a, that's such a weird way to phrase it. Yeah, there's a guy. No, there's a there's a fucking it's a mental health professional that I saw for a for a bit um, that I might be able to to um, get that get that worked out again because I fucking need it. <laughs> um, God. <laughs> anyway hello welcome to the video this one's gonna be bad maybe i i don't know i mean a lot of a lot of i think why these videos are good are because they're r real <laughs> or why these videos appeal to people is just because they're they're very genuine and, and like i'm sure y'all are used to it by now i am not a ball of sunshine <laughs> Um, and that's the title for the video. <laughs> Hooray. Uh, I was thinking about Little Miss Sunshine the other day. It's a great fucking movie. If you haven't seen Little Miss Sunshine, it's got, um, Steve Carell. Uh, and it's, it's basically about this little girl. I already have Latte Cookie. I've seen this animation before. It's cute, though. Um, do, do. It's this little girl who who wants to be like a beauty queen or whatever in, in like a child pageant thing, but she's not she's not really built for it necessarily. <laughs> but she's like really excited about it, so the the whole family kind of gets together and takes this, does this road trip because she got accepted on a technicality to some to some um thing. Like she did a regional thing and then she didn't make it, but then the person who was above her something happened i don't know but anyway they do this this crazy road trip and they have like car troubles and they have just like every character is as uh, in the in the family is is interesting there's one guy who doesn't like the the brother doesn't speak like because because he wants to be a pilot and like he read something from nietzsche that that led him to believe that in order to like a, pursue his goal he needed to stop speaking or something i don't remember it's crazy and um it's it's one of those like tragic comedies like it's it's such a crazy like kind of sad in a way like these these people's lives uh are just not going well but it's still entertaining and it's still funny like it's written in a funny way um so it's 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 probably one of my favorite movies it's fucking great uh little miss sunshine check it out anyway that was a relatively successful uh, uh attempt at distracting myself i'm still kind of sad but <laughs> um less so <laughs> fuck <laughs> i just shouldn't have done the video today i sh i should have just no because then i'd be fucking wallowing in my fucking 
depression or whatever and then i don't know D D is gonna be fun hopefully i mean D is always fun um i i get to pretend to be somebody else for a while and that <laughs> it's gonna be great i'm really excited for that <laughs> Whew. um Can you tell how much pain I'm in? <laughs> like, not physical pain, obviously. Uh, I mean, some of it manifests as physical pain. There's like a tightening in the chest, just a little bit. And, um... <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing anymore, guys. I just don't know what I'm doing. Um, like... And yeah, I mean, a lot of it's my fault, like the the problems, and that's but like it's and that's like I'm I'm mostly just upset with myself, <laughs> and that's not I mean that's not good, of course. Um, God, <sighs> that like cool Discord group or whatever that I joined that did a uh, that did like an event for for New Year's. I was I was chatting with them and they're all they're all like uh great great fun people but like all of the events are so late <laughs> for me like we're in the same time zone but they start them at like 9 p.m. and like I'm fucking I'm laying in bed 9 p.m. yeah I cannot I cannot afford to be up that late uh I, mean, I think I talked about it before technically so I I I go to bed at nine like I lay in bed at nine and I read on my Kindle for an hour and then try to sleep around ten. Um, honestly, they recommend that you that you put away screens for two hours before bed, uh, but that's like I, I've I've been doing this for a while, and it's still kind of I mean it ends up being two hours before I fall asleep because it still takes me like an hour to actually fall asleep. Maybe that's part of the problem. Maybe I need to fucking s just turn the shit off at eight. <laughs> but then like, what? I get home at five, and then I've got three hours to like play video games and hang out with friends and stuff. Nah. Nine, the nine o'clock thing works for me. Recently, I've been pushing it a little too much, but but no. I mean, sometimes I do like I'll try to stop playing video games and stuff around eight eight thirty, and maybe like cool down a little bit. Maybe I'll get up and do do something for a bit before I before I actually do the do the lay down and read thing. But no, it's it's worked. A lot of that is is just having a pattern that you can stick to because you know the human brain likes having patterns um and so like it's it's kind of i don't know sleep is so weird i like i was listening to uh dr k of of um it sounds so fucking weird i'm that fucking dude now that just it just disseminates information from other people and just like regurgitates it out in just like the worst possible way. Like, yeah, I was listening to the Joe Rogan podcast and uh, he said that this, this, that, and the other thing. No, fuck that. But no, there, there was a, there was Dr. K, who's like an actual psychiatrist guy. He, he, he's a uh, healthy gamer, GG. He did a whole like two hour quote unquote lecture about sleep, um, like on stream. It was pretty interesting stuff. Uh, I was also playing Minecraft at the time, so I was mostly just like half listening or like a quarter listening. So genuinely anything I gleaned from that, probably not like legitimate information. And it's, I mean, a lot of what he talked about was stuff I already generally knew. Like, yes, it's good to have patterns. It's good to stop looking at screens because screens will kind of trick your brain into thinking that there's sunlight and you won't be producing, um, I think it's like melatonin. Uh, that could be the wrong thing, but yeah, there's like a chemical in your brain that that's that your brain will start to make when you're when it's time to sleep and when and when you need to uh, uh, get ready to sleep. Um, and having too much light, especially blue light, will trick your brain into thinking that it's still daytime and you won't be producing that. He also mentioned that it's good to sleep in a room uh, that gets sunlight so that the sun can wake you up. But I think that was more on the effect of people that have trouble waking up. And, and to a degree, I, I, I kind of have trouble waking up um, or, or in it like, like I'll wake up and I'll be awake. It's, it's more that I have trouble getting up, like getting out of bed and getting like doing whatever. But I give myself tons of leeway specifically because of that. Like I've worked into my patterns that I wake up 630, rough 645 a lot of the time, sometimes seven. But I don't have to be at work 
for for or until 8 30 so like if i wake up at seven i have an hour to just fuck around and like and do whatever i want and usually what that ends up being is just me um just fucking uh um doing doing nothing just laying in bed uh on my phone sometimes reading um but mostly just on my phone chilling like uh uh checking discord and shit um or watching youtube videos or whatever like i i don't really like i i generally give myself enough time to prepare for work but i sometimes like i kind of feel rushed <laughs> like i'll only give myself like 10 minutes to, to just actually like get up and like fucking figure out my outfit for the day and fucking figure out what the fuck i'm gonna eat <laughs> um let me let me drop a howdy uh i have your home address <laughs> great name love it um <laughs> oh okay oh we were so close guys we were so fucking close oh man Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I need to keep. I need to keep talking. I can't fucking. I can't keep uh, dipping into the sadness. Uh, into the sage. <laughs> Pepe sad. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know Twitch lingo. <laughs> I love fucking. Dr. K, he's like he plays video games and shit too. Like he's a healthy gamer, and like his his main focus is helping helping gamers to like live better lives through sort of like helping their you know mental health and stuff. And and there was a way he was describing acid reflux uh, because like your your stomach produces you know acids and stuff, and sometimes in certain people. Uh, your your throat or your esophagus or whatever it's fucked up and like something some of the stomach acid leaks into your throat and then like you choke on stomach acid and that's a problem. The way he described it was acid get like he said acid gets in there and then and then it deals ten acid damage every round. Like he said it was such a straight face and all the chat was like dot for damage over time. <laughs> but it's like yeah because it's because the acid sits there and literally starts tearing at your at your um at like flesh that's not designed to handle acid being there because your stomach is is needs that acid to help you digest a lot of the food because we eat fucking crazy shit <laughs> um but like for some people that acid gets to places where it shouldn't be and that's a problem luckily i don't have that uh i'm very i'm very thankful that most of my problems aren't uh uh physiological but mental actually well i don't know <laughs> Uh, <laughs> maybe, maybe it'd be great to not have so many mental problems. Uh, whatever. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> um, I don't know. I wish I made better videos. <laughs> I feel like this video is entertaining, uh, like to some degree. I feel like this video is is more entertaining, or more engaging, or or whatever uh, than like the really tired ones. Like in terms of in terms of uh, making a, a decent watchable video YouTube video, I feel like this is this is more right. Uh, like this is this is more chaotic. This is more engaging, more interesting. It's kind of like how fucking. Um, What's his name? Uh, uh, Nikado Avocado just like fucking destroyed himself for YouTube. <laughs> I'm not going to do that, but it's similar to that. It's just on a way less scale because Nikado Avocado, like, he grew like four sizes or whatever. <laughs> That's an awful way to put it, but but he did. Like he just kept eating and eating and eating and you know, for for YouTube videos and just like, it's uh it's very sad it's it's sad to to look at and think about um what he's done to himself and and hopefully i'll i'll never do that i mean i don't make mukbang content and i'm not like i'm not uh, intentionally making fucking uh sad boy depressed videos <laughs> uh 
Oh god. Well, it's I mean, this is less this is less that because the because a lot of the like depressed videos are just like the tired tired depressed like goddamn videos and I feel like there's there's something special about this this particular video where for some reason I have this this strange energy about me. And maybe that's just a coping mechanism for me not to 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 dwell on my issues. Um I don't know, we'll see. Um I almost said something really dark, but nope, <laughs> not gonna. It's time for me to end this video. Uh, <laughs> now I need to wait 20 seconds. Uh, it's not that hard. We're already halfway through. Um, I mean, I can say the line now and then just wait. <laughs> Take care of yourself.